and welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinika and today we're making an Arjaline eye cream. Arjaline peptides are great for the eye area, as, are, as is caffeine, which we'll be uh, using some uh, great tea to make the caffeine. Uh, so enough talking, let's get started. Okay, today we're going to make an Arjaline retinol eye gel. So this is great for your eye area. It works great under makeup. Um, it works especially great at night before you go to bed under your moisturizer. So let's get started. You'll need a few ingredients, of course. You'll need cucumber distillate, Arjaline peptide solution, peppermint tea. You'll need some retinol, also known as vitamin A, a little bit of niacinamide, also known as vitamin B5, You'll need hyaluronic acid powder, a little bit of potassium sorbate, phenoxyethanol for preservation, and tetrasodium glutamate diacetate, also per, for preservation. You'll also need a hot plate or stove top to make your tea. And to do that, you simply take your cucumber distillate and your peppermint tea, and we're just gonna make a little tea. Now the thing, the trick with this is uh, you don't want to um, make your cucumber water too dark. Um, if you do, whatever color this water becomes is going to be the color of your eye gel. So the first time I made this, I made it with black tea and ended up with a brown eye gel. Doesn't look very pretty, really effective, but doesn't look very pretty. So um, we're going to use peppermint tea this time. I kind of like the idea of the cooling effect of peppermint and we won't let it steep for very long so that it doesn't turn too dark on us. Okay, so now that we've made our tea, we're gonna add all of the ingredients except for the hyaluronic acid. So our argaline peptide, argaline peptide solution <laughs> and our retinol. Get all of that in there. And of course the Preservatives. And of course the niacinamide. We'll go ahead and give that a good mix. we can add our hyaluronic acid. So to add hyaluronic acid to water, it's gonna make a really nice gel, but you have to add it while you're mixing and you have to gently sprinkle it in while you're mixing. If you just dump it in, you're gonna have big clumps and you won't be able to get rid of them and you'll have to start over. So let's get started. As this starts to thicken, you may need to turn the speed up on your mixer. And you just want to make sure you mix it really well so you don't have any um, unhomogenized parts in there. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so uh, we're gonna test the pH now of our eye cream. And of course you can buy these pH strips uh, on our website. And if I look at the pH, it's pretty darn high, way higher than we want it to be. Um, it looks to me to be, gosh, we're looking up like nine like up in the higher end of the pH range. So we're gonna have to adjust that down. You want the pH to be somewhere between four and a half and five and a half. And of course you wanna be careful, the eye area is a very sensitive area. So I've got a little citric acid here in this jar that I use for pH adjustments. 
Um, to adjust the pH down citric acid, to adjust it higher, you'd use baking soda. Of course, we want it to be lower, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in here. And it doesn't take much to adjust the pH, so we're going to mix that in and test again and see where we're at. One of the things I love about pH is it changes color. Okay, so now we'll test again now that that's all mixed in there. Let's see where we're at. And I think we're right about, we're exactly between four and a half and five, so we are great with the pH. As you can see, it didn't take very much at all to adjust the pH with this. So just a little sprinkle of citric acid. And let's pour a little into, into a nice jar so you can see how it looks. And there you have your uh, Argeline Retinol Eye Gel. So we hope you've enjoyed this video and um, please click the more button for a full description of how to make this and suggested packaging and pricing and all that good stuff. And please be sure to subscribe for more great videos. Thanks for joining us.